Do you ever waste way too much time in the morning staring at your closet thinking you have nothing to wear? No. You're not alone. A new study by Trunk Club says the average person has, quote, wardrobe panic 36 times a year. Ugh. Even though people it have happens. an average of 53 items in their closet to choose from, they still struggle to find an outfit. Yeah. And some items in their closet haven't even been worn once. Mm -hmm. So ladies, mm -hmm. have you ever caught a case of wardrobe panic? Yes. It More than fun. 36 times a year, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, I swear, I will walk through my closet and look through things. I will walk away and be like, oh my God, I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> walk back in, look at the same darn thing, acting like something is miraculously gonna appear in my closet. So that's why I always say, I know it sounds super corny, but I always lay out my clothes the night before because the morning of, I can't think about like what, I, I will panic. Yeah. I will feel overwhelmed. So I, I know there's another thing that most ladies don't do anymore, but play in your closet when you have time. When you just have free time, your husband's doing something. When this is out the house, I'm in my closet doing my own little fashion show and I'll put a set of a few outfits aside That's so that if the opportunity so comes up, I got something ready. If yeah. someone, oh, one wow. of my girlfriends says, come out for dinner, I have something in my closet yeah. ready. I played, did a little fashion show for myself. Play in your closet, try different things on, mix and match your pieces. You know what, A, because you always, always, always look good yes. together. Thank you. you. Guys, I like try. Head it's head not effortless. To I toe. That much. Your yeah. accessories, everything. Thank you. I, I think, think that's about such it. a good idea. It also, set yourself up so you don't have to be in that rush when somebody invites you to dinner, yeah. or when you have something out, a night out. I think, number one, color coordinating mm -hmm. in your closet is so important. All wow. your blacks gotta go together, all your reds gotta go together. And when you have time, take pictures of things that you like and yep. have a file in your phone of inspirations so that you don't have to think of new ideas. Yeah. And I, then if you have outfits that already work, make three more outfits out of it. So yeah. like if you had a great skirt that went oh, with a great top, it's uh, a short thing. Switch out the skirt and put another type of a pant on the same shirt or maybe just drape a jacket over it. So you have three versions of that one That's outfit so you don't have to think so hard. I do know? have a question and I wanted yeah. to ask you because I had read something a long time ago that a lot of the times when we have too much in our closet, things that we haven't worn for a year or two, right. yes. it's hard to figure out what to wear. If you have yep. less things in your closet, you can actually so see. True. So it's important to closet purge at least once a year, right? Absolutely. Spring this is so cleaning, true. people. Yeah. Look through your closet, and if you don't think you would buy it today, get, get rid, rid of it. it. Or give it to somebody. Yes. That's it. Give okay. it to some of your friends. Because I got yeah. some old funky shirts that are there, you know, still from like high school, because I love them so much. Yeah. But they cross colors, and it has a memory to it, but I ain't gonna wear no cross color shirt today, so those are things that I have to get rid of.